Uh, yeah. Okay. So, what else? What else do I have going on? Um. Um. That's about it. I still don't have a new audition date for the Magic Castle. I need to follow up on that. Um. up um <clears throat> yeah i've been i've been practicing and all that good stuff i've been supposed to meet up with some a uh, couple of magicians who are gonna sort of help me out with a few things i have not managed to do that because they were traveling and then i was traveling and um it was all just a bunch of that kind of logistical stuff so um, and now that I'm back from Maker Fair, of course, one of them is out of town. Uh, they are working magicians, so they kind of get gigs and they have to go do them, which is completely understandable. Um, <clears throat> so, so hopefully that will be something that we can arrange soon. Um, next possible date would probably be the first... Monday of June um, that feels a little early to me because I'm going out of town I'm going to Boston this weekend so I don't know that I want to do it that soon but um, I also don't want to push back too much and I want to get it and, and if I end up auditioning in July my goal here is kind of it's kind of a soft goal um, but I would very much like to be able to go to the Magic Castle on my birthday as a member. I don't think that's too much to ask for. <laughs> um, but if I don't audition until July, I don't know when... If I don't audition until July, I don't know when they would actually um, say, yes, you're in, so... Uh, I don't know. We'll we'll find out, and then um, um, uh, oh yeah. Uh, also on the magic front, I have I have some friends who are uh, DJs at local uh, Loyola Marymount. Oh, that doesn't work. Hmm. Uh, Loyola Marymount University has a college radio station called KXLU, and they do. Hey, man. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> and I have I have friends who um, Chihuahua Power G went to went to Loyola Marymount, uh, and uh, we have friends um, who. There we go. Jeez. Oh, that needs to be powered. Um, we have friends who uh, who oops are were DJs at the radio station KXLU, and I have friends who are still DJs at KXLU, even though they're no longer students there. Uh, they've been DJing for quite some time, and they have a show called uh, the Molotov Cocktail Hour. It's on Tuesday nights. And they um, they had a show on Tuesday, which yesterday, uh, and they had a guest on, which isn't super common, but they do from time to time. And their guest was Rob Zabrecki. Uh, Rob Zabrecki is a magician. Started out as a musician. He was the uh, he was the lead singer for Possum Dixon, which I'm dating myself a little bit, but if you know who Possum Dixon is, you, he was the lead singer. Um, and he started doing magic while on the road with Possum Dixon. Uh, basically it was a... Um, can I do that? Yes. <clears throat> uh, he started doing it 
on on the road and he just kind of found himself in a magic shop and was like yeah let's give this a try immediately becomes a cleric very nice uh, anyway so he has been doing magic professionally for uh, for some time now and uh, so he came on the show and he and the reason he was on the show is he has an album not an album he has a book coming out a memoir called strange cures so they interviewed him about his about his life his background and um and the memoir and fascinating interview and i didn't get to hear the whole thing you don't get kxlu too well out where I live so I touched the base with my friends and um, they are apparently going to make a recording like a podcast of the episode available so when that happens I will let you know and you should go listen to it because it was really interesting hi Hi. You didn't screw up any of these guys, right? No. No. This is awesome. Okay, this means I can stack them. Now, I have an extra block in between, just mostly for aesthetics reasons, but I can do that. I'm going to have to rebuild stuff anyway, right? I'm going to have to make all this thicker. So anyway, uh, so that that's interesting. The book sounds really interesting. Um, he's gone through quite a bit in his life, um, not not the least of which being an entertainer in multiple mediums and dealing with drug addiction and all that fun stuff. Uh, but he has, sounds like he has a real wacky family, <laughs> and uh, he's he's sort of gone through quite a lot of stuff, and um, so the book covers all that. So uh, anyway. That comes out in a couple weeks. So if you're interested in an interesting read, go ahead and uh, check that out. It's available pre-order on Amazon. Um, and um, and all that good stuff. So um, yeah. And then, oh, and then uh, the reason that my friends got him to be on the show is because he is their friends with him. So um, that's why he agreed to go on college radio. So, which I think, and you know, I think he likes, everyone likes each other anyway. So uh, he will be performing at the Magic Castle um, in a few weeks. So I may go see him. Uh, he is, of course, a member at the Magic Castle. Uh, and he performs these the seances. So they have these, um, they do seances. Oops, that goes there uh, on a regular basis. Uh, but they're kind of redesigning the whole seance uh, program at this point. And the seances started out as a Houdini seance. Um, Houdini was, of course, a great. Uh, oops. <clears throat> skeptic and debunker of psychic and uh, psychic um, and uh, spiritualists and uh, before he died he told his wife Bess that you know because he was he got sick he had appendicitis um, not from getting punched in the stomach that may have exacerbated it but that's not what caused it despite what the movies tell you even the most recent uh, miniseries with uh, Adrian Brody um, <clears throat> but he uh, he and his wife came up with a code that he's like look if there's any way for the dead to contact the living I will find a way to do it and I will contact you and they came up with a, a code for them to use to say, yeah, it's really me. And 
every year on Halloween. I don't know if that was a prearranged, if that was a prearranged date or if it was just, you know, dramatic. Uh, but they would hold seances trying to contact him with Bess present. And, uh, and they would bring in whatever spiritualists decided that, that they felt that they could contact Houdini. And it never happened. Um, somebody, one of them did actually say the code at one point, but turns out that Bess had already talked to a, to a reporter and had spilled the beans about what the code was. Um, it was, I think it was an inscription on their wedding ring, on the inside of her wedding ring. Um, <clears throat> and she had, she had spilled the beans on that and somebody figured out what that was and tried to use it in their uh, in their shenanigans uh, but it was you know nobody nobody believes that that was actually Harry Houdini trying to contact anyone from the dead uh, so the magic castle has sort of maintained the Houdini seances on on um, Halloween uh, but they've also started doing seances as demonstrations essentially of psychic or, or spiritualists, you know, the way spiritualists do their thing um, or did their thing because the spiritualism movement is pretty much dead at this point. But um, <clears throat> uh, so uh, and uh, Rob Zabrecki and he performs his, his sort of magic nom de plume or whatever you want to call it is just Zabraki. Um but he he actually does he's one of the magician members who will do the seances at the magic castle so uh, and I've never seen one I would very much like to and they are revamping the whole seance experience um and so hopefully I will get to see that happen at some point and see Zabrecki himself doing it. But there we go. So, huh. okay, these guys remain unemployed. They do not seem to be. How did I do that? Oh, you could put the trapdoors on the bottom half. Oh, okay, that makes total sense that you could do that and close it up that way. It's not what we want, though. We want it on the top and get rid of that one. Okay. That's not what we want there either, is it? No! Guess you have to be facing the correct direction. All right. Um... So that's I think that's all that. Um, so I might get to see Zabrecki in a couple weeks, which will be super exciting. And and uh, yeah, uh, and hopefully when that recording becomes available, I'll be able to listen to the rest of the conversation that they had on the show. Um, and I will mention it here when that happens because I think other people might be interested too um, and so there we go I think that's it uh, looks like we have this situation pretty much fixed uh, let's we will see how it actually goes I will have to start spend some time <clears throat> Um, revamping the the villager area on the server but that shouldn't be too difficult and then we can be better prepped for when 1.14.2 comes out or whichever version it happens to be that we will update the server to spigot still hasn't updated so it's kind of a moot point but I'd rather be prepared and I'd rather that they fix some of the performance issues that they have. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I think so. I will be, I'm going to Boston this weekend for the Motor Media Extravaganza, 
which I assume I talked about last year. If not, I will talk about it at some point, probably after I get back. It's a semi, somewhat annual um, concert put on by Matt Farley and his friends, his bandmates. Um, and I am going to that. That is on Saturday. Um, so I'm assuming that I will not get this edited until I'm in Boston. And then I may, and I'm traveling back on Monday when I normally edit and release. So we will see whether or not I actually get this. I may be back from Boston by the time you see this. Um, me, hopefully I just miss one week and not two, but we'll see. Um, and I will, next time I will update you on how that all goes, how that all went. It should be fun, it was last year. Um, and my friend Rachel, who lives in the Boston area, is going because I want a free ticket. <laughs> um, there was a... Matt did a cover song challenge, and he announces a winner of the cover song challenge, and the winner gets a free ticket to the extravaganza. And the person who won was Judith, and she's in Belgium. And I don't think this has anything to do with it. She won't actually be able to go to the extravaganza this year. Just because, you know, Belgium to Boston is kind of a long trip. But uh, he chose me as a runner-up. My version of uh, Poop Into a Wormhole, which is one of his, one of his songs. So we will, we will see. Um, anyway, so I, and I, when I heard, when I was listening to the podcast where he talked about the winner, um, I, he announced Judith and he should have because she, her, her cover song was the best by far of everyone's and, uh, oh, oh this is working. This is working. Awesome. Uh, so then I, w I went online and bought my ticket to the extravaganza. Uh, and then uh, and then he was like, hey, Theron, you realize that, you know, you got you got a free ticket, too. Uh, so so I had free two free. Uh, so I had two tickets and I didn't. Oops. I didn't necessarily want to get a refund on one because part of the point of purchasing the tickets were uh, supporting him. Uh, so, so it's like, yeah. So I asked my friend Rachel if she wanted to go and she said, sure, I got nothing to do. She doesn't know or she didn't know of his music at that point. Um, I don't know if she's gone and listened to the playlists or on the Spotify playlist. Hi. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Okay. Let me get rid of these. It's our first bit of trouble. <laughs> Huh. Okay. Weird. Okay. Well, obviously, I may run into some small issues, but... I think once they get assigned to a workstation, they will keep it. And I don't have to worry about uh, all, the, all the crazy shenanigans. This guy's a librarian. This guy's a farmer, librarian, cleric. Okay, very good. I think we have a workable solution and everything will be good. Oops, and and when we want, we can, oops, we can uh, close these up. 
I don't know that that'll ever be useful or necessary, but we can do it. There we go. So, yeah, there we go. I will update you more on the whole uh, motor media trip when I get back. A updates on the castle. And uh, we will start to re-transform the villager trading area so that it will end up looking more like this and um, you saw this right if I stand underneath here and open this whoops and if I stand here and open this one it puts me into crawling mode so there we go uh, I think that's it thank you for watching this is Theron it's been Minecraft land party or Minecraft maker whatever um, and I will see you next time, right? Bye.